I guess the White Queen really is Kurumi's inverted form, at least the closest we're ever going to see. That design is so sick. And I, I heard some people saying, how could you bring a sword to a gunfight? It was pretty cool when she split the bullets from Kurumi with her sword, right? I mean, she has a gun too. Now, what are we doing here? I mistakenly said that Queen was the one that grants the wishes. No, it's some Magalith or some different entity in this world. And the wish is basically probably to go back home. So the second, you know, the, the OVA young Kurumi that was killed by Oji Kurumi could just go back home now. It's pretty fun so far. And the design and the animation style of Kurumi is so good in this. But I hear that this data bullet is pretty rushed. And in fact, it could have been its own side spinoffs like Season. I wish it was like that. But it is what it is. Let's finish off. It's strong. This is... The friend we accidentally killed, right? Yeah, it is the friend. How does this all play into it? Because I thought the story of Data Bullet was going to be explaining how Kurumi was tricked into killing her friend, but we're just doing Battle Royale in a different dimension. A letter? Love letter? <laughs> Someone got rejected. Rip. Mm, like Itsuka Shido. Mm. Oh. <laughs> well, we gotta go the Yuri route if you're gonna put us in the spot like this. You know what this is doing right now? They're giving us more background story between the friendship between these two so that it can fucking hurt more when we understand how she was tricked into killing her. That's what the author is doing right now. You're fucked up. Yeah, this is some nice innocent times. And then we got spirit powers and everything just went to shit. But this is what this is what Kunumi is trying to return to, right? Kill the origin spirit, return to the normal days like this. But that means that you can't find that one person, like Itsukashi, though, right? Yeah. You can never appreciate the present until it's too late. That's the unfortunate reality of life. Even right now, guys, what we're doing right now, what we're enjoying together, it's not gonna last forever, man. You better enjoy while it lasts. All right, back to battle royale. Biscuit to smash. Her. We already took her out. <laughs> what are you gonna do about it? Yeah. None of you have spirit powers, right? How could you possibly compete with Zafkid right now? Oh! The gun itself could just do that? Oh shit! Boom! That's actually pretty impressive that sword can fend off the hammer. It's her. What is up with this girl? There's something so off about her. She acts all so innocent and weak, but like... Yeah, that's good, but at the same time... She's gonna be super important later, isn't she? <laughs> bang, bang. But it's a clone, right? Oh, you have stick damage? Damn. That's crazy. She's throwing the Kanoichi knife. We're just dead ass just shooting her with a gun. Oof. If you get hit once like that, it should be over. What? That's kind of cool, I guess. <laughs> Respect? Kumi was like, oh, uh, okay. <laughs> All right, let's go on a little quick date then. This classroom kind of reminds of me of a... Uh, that scene we just had with her, Kurumi, and her friend. Yeah, it does, right? But how does Hibiki play into all of this? What is the point of this character? There's something so mysterious about her. Mm, probably hurts. I mean, she almost accepted the date, right? Kind of? Yeah, what about you? Yeah, who are you, Hibiki? Just like Kurumi's situation. Oh, shit. Yo! This is exactly the same as Kurumi. This is probably... Kurumi can empathize with this so much. Yeah. <laughs> How is she supposed to defeat Kurumi? She's just like, what? <laughs> no, it's not enough to be just a cute girl right now, Hibiki. What do you have? How the fuck are you going to compete time-traveling gun powers? Oof. Hey, I thought the whole point of Biscuit Smasher is that if you get smashed once, you turn into a biscuit. That's actually kind of embarrassing if this is the strongest. I don't know, she's already dead. 
I would maybe have more personal connection towards this anime person and these girls because it seems like I don't know it feels a little bit rushed like I don't really know them they keep talking about you know their past lives oh everything will end in one attack and then someone's gonna cough blood but they won't go down the other person will then collapse it's a bait there it is but wait hold up hold and okay never mind sometimes you they bait us with like that girl coughing up blood but then the other person just completely collapses i'm sorry big sword girl i barely knew you bye bye but what happens to these spirits now? These quasi spirits that just die, but they're already dead. If you die, then you get transported here. What if you die again? We should all team up against Queen. Strategically, probably a smart thing to do. You probably shouldn't have killed a sword girl then. We probably need every one of them to go against Queen. It's the cat again. What is this cat? That cat somehow reminds me of Hibiki too, because of the colors. What? What do you mean there's no Maybe that cat is queen. No, 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 we play with that cat. Also, Kurumi's favorite is the black cat. A letter. Oh, that's you know the memories of it, right? Who did it? Who did it? Maybe she'll turn around and point the gun at Hibiki. It doesn't feel like the cat's hiding right now? Hibiki, hold up! What? What did you find out? Uh oh. Uh oh. The tables turned. Is Hibiki actually evil? Oh. Ara, ara. Hmm. Oh! <laughs> Bitch, stand back! You're not just a random cute girl, right? Help me. Who wrote that, though? I'm not completely getting it. She's queen? I mean, hairstyle wise, it makes sense. Bang! This time through the stomach. Oh shit, really? Oh shit, yo, rip Hibiki. What if this isn't Queen? Could you imagine if this isn't Queen and we just killed Hibiki? <laughs> Damn, that's ruthless, Kurumi. But she did confirm it with Yod. Wait, what is this memories? What? But Hibiki existed back then. But it, it was always Hibiki. It was never. Okay, 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 okay. Hibiki! Is the cat! And then Queen took Hibiki's form! What? Bitch, show me your true face. Stop lying! Oh, there it is. <laughs> Here it is. There we go. How are you just gonna take a bullet wound to the stomach and you're fine, though? Yeah, it was too similar to Kurumi's story, right? Queen was playing into the emotions like that. Oh, the sword's back. <laughs> That's the power of Yod. Now, why do you look identical to Kurumi, though? You are you. I am you. You are me. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I like this Kurumi's uh, astral dress a little bit better. I have a personal bias against those admirable, like, Admiral Navy captain outfits. But again, wait, I'm the part that you abandoned. The inv? I don't know how that works. The only thing missing from this Kurumi's design is a cape, like a jacket, without the sleeve, her arms being put in the sleeves. You're not no kitty, don't! She wouldn't shoot the cat, right? I don't know why Biscuit Smasher is so... <laughs> has such a, a nice chivalry with Kurumi, right? No! Oh, dude. Kurumi, go invert. Kurumi, invert right now. Oh, bro, are you fucking serious? We can use, you know, change it back, right? <laughs> we gotta shoot the cat again, but the arm... But yeah, there we go. It's fine, it's fine. But what's dead can't come back? Kitty? <gasps> Thank God. I ain't gonna lie, guys. I really like the sword and gun duo rather than two guns. You know who else has sword and gun? My man, Fareed, and he's got white hair, too. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh shit. Ninjutsu? Okay. She's actually using Nimpo. Wow, fire. What if she just steps outside of it? Huh? 
Mozunim. She threw the sword and shot. The sword, it becomes... Like, she can throw the sword and it can change. Oh! It's kind of like Boogie Woogie. She keeps glitching out like this, too. Wonder what's going on there. Whoa. Whoa. Wait. <gasps> Wait, her friend! Her friend! Why is her friend showing us queen? Rip ninja. But why is the queen showing us the friend? How does that work? And now... We're back into the intro scene yeah. of episode one, right? This is how it all started. That's so cool how she just keeps like disappearing like that. Yo, Queen got some moves too though. Oh, that's okay. We can just heal that up. Huh? She's talking like her old friend? We got baited by the origin spirit? But why is she queen? How does that work? Kurumi was under the assumption because like her friends became like um berserk state, right? Because she couldn't handle the Sephira, it was not compatible. So Kurumi was tricked into killing her. But then she got transported to this world. And then how does Queen become? So somehow inverted Kurumi is here and offers her powers to her friend? She abandoned the inverted spirit? I mean, how can you blame her, though? How, how could she possibly understand what's going on? You hated Kurumi so much, you became Kurumi, but that what? Like, I feel like there has to be a good resolution, you know? We gotta make up. But simply explaining to her, as in, we got tricked, won't work. Your love. Yeah. Are we going on a date? We're we going for a kiss? Kurumi on Kurumi kiss? Oh. Oh, we don't even need to do a talk no jutsu. She's already down. No shit, because you kept killing them. <laughs> Did you try to make friends with them? You just killed them all. But we can't just hang out here forever, right? So I will put an end to you. Again? You're going to kill your friend twice? Kurumi! Okay. I thought we could have a nice Yuri ending, and this Kurumi stays here. Force? Force her to stay? Whoa. Didn't that seem to shoot one direction and come back? I wish I knew what, um, you know, inverted Kurumi's powers were. This soundtrack is so good. What does Kenset do? I don't fucking know. But it's alright. It's a bullet battle. What is the most important thing? Oh. These creamy panting noises, man. <laughs> <laughs> These could be panting noises. But that bolt's coming back. Bang. Ooh, you got the boomerang bullet. Can't be just over like that, right? Or is it? Damn. She actually got baited by the boomerang bullet. Oh, no. She's talking like Sawa again. Bro. We're killing her twice. We're killing her twice. And she knew when she became berserk with the Sephira. So you knew exactly why she had to kill you. Okay, now she's understanding. Not once, but twice now. I don't I don't even know. That's right, there's still Hibiki left, bro. Yo, there's still Hibiki left. We still have to kill her, right? We have to kill the cat to win? That's fucked up, Kurumi. You killed your best friend twice. Salute. Isawa-san once more. Sad. It's kind of comedic that she had to kill her twice. It's kind of fucked up. But there's still Hibiki left as a cat. We're not ending this battle royale yet. I wonder what the wish Kurumi will wish for. Will she really wish to go back to the old world? Or could she possibly wish for Isawa-san? Like, where is this cat? There you are. The real Hibiki. <laughs> Bitch, get the fuck out of here. It's just you and me now. 
Bits get serious. You're not gonna try to butter me up. I can't take her seriously. Look how cute she's being. Don't let her get too close. Wait, 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 wait. Mm. And in order for that, you need to die, Hibiki. What do you mean? You can go with us. How does this work? Was she never part of the battle royale? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, what? I thought only one person can survive at the end then. Huh? That last part, I'm a bit confused about. Because Kurumi was like, all right, I'm going to go back to my world now. Bye. And then he becomes like, yeah, I'll come along with you. But bitch, what do you mean? I thought only one person can survive. Is it because of the way that Queen did something to the cat and changing forms? Therefore, the real Hibiki is not part of the battle royale. Therefore, she's excluded. Therefore, Kurumi at the end did really win, even though the real Hibiki is there. Maybe something like that. I don't know. And with that comes to the end of Data Live for now. You know, there's as a content creator, like I was really stressing about what shows to watch next. And I really thought that Data Live wasn't going to do well, but I just did it. And people were really there. And y'all have been there every day supporting me since season one up until season four and to the OVAs and all this shit. I super appreciate you guys. The journey isn't over yet, though. We, got, we still have season 5 trailer stuff, and I'm still thinking about incorporating some data live content into my streams, whether that be some kind of tier list, ranking the character, ranking the different arcs I like, maybe even get a little bit on the visual novel. We'll see. But we still have the season 5 trailer, and season 5 should be coming around, so look forward to that. But again, thank you to everybody that was part of the data live journey. It's been a nice three months. I can't believe it's already over. But this is what happens when you want daily upload the data live, and I gave it to you! And here we are. Remember appreciate the present because sometimes you get caught up in things and you'll realize that damn back in those days like in back in season one when kurumi was in the rooftop and kotori showing up all that shit those are some of my best memories of data life man oh man i can't believe this is over but it's not over yet season five is still coming but hey if you're still here if you didn't enjoy this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for even more content and until next time take care